Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we're talking about featured or basic. I get this question all the time. People ask, yo, which one should I go for, Dave? Dave, which one should I get? Should I get a featured? Should I get the basic? Which one do you think? Do you think it's worth it? And it really comes down to this. Are you an arena grinder or not? Because arena grinders are interested in building their roster. They want a more diverse roster uh, so that they can maximize the amount of points that they get and do all of those milestones a lot easier and a lot faster. Now, if you don't do it uh, and you're just trying to get like a cool hero here and there, then yeah, go for featured because it's going to take you a longer time in between. But since roster building doesn't matter, then yeah, go for featured. Uh, you might get lucky, you might get a cool champ, you might get some cool defense, uh, but that's really all there is to it. It's very short term. Um, it's a short term bragging rights thing. You may get an overly OP champion just for a little while and then everyone will figure out how to beat them. And that'll pretty much be that. It's pretty shallow in terms of what you do with the featured. However, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't go for featured because if you build your roster as an arena grinder would, uh, then you are maximizing how many five-star champs, I'm using five-star as the example here, uh, that you get. The more five-stars you get, the more of a chance you have to dupe them and the better chance you have to finish your milestones quickly. So this starts to help you build your wealth over time and it's a long-term investment, it's the long game. So while many people will go for featured now um, and they will basically handicap their ability to get more and more and more, you might get a good champ, like I said, and it might help you get through some content that might be good, but that's not really a high percentage for everyone. Um, However, if you build your roster, again, you have a better chance to dupe all your five stars, which means more six star shards. That means more five stars in your roster. And you can do quests and all that stuff with it because you can still rank five them and rank four them. It's still very powerful. But in the long term, your ability to grab dupes and to build up shards very, very easy becomes very easy and much more frequent. And all of a sudden, you'll have the ability to get featured five stars and featured six stars with very, very little effort. And this is where people will start to wonder, how do you do that? How he do that? How he do that? How is he always opening a featured? And this was what was happening uh, about a year ago when I was opening a lot of features in my five star. Uh, but then I decided to make a decision to even uh, to go for a greater roster uh, for my five stars. So that's where the five star every week thing started coming about. And I am just building and building and building. So now I'm in a great place to easily dupe and to get a lot of six star shards, maximize my chances. And um, right now I'm still building in basic with my six stars. So I don't feel it necessary to go for a six star featured or anything like that. Um, the only one I really feel like that's worth it in the six star um would be either Corvus or or Domino or something like that. Um, but uh, I don't feel like that will really, really progress my account because I can do everything in the game with my current roster. Um, so those six stars are very, very valuable in the Arena. Those are about 60 to 68,000 a piece um, per round. That's ridiculous. Um, so the more of those I can get, the better, the easier my grinds will be. I can hit those millions with no problem. And uh, that's where that's at. So again, guys, I think it comes down to, do you arena grind or do you not? Um, and those are my thoughts on featured or basic. I'm more of a basic guy until I built up enough to then go for featured. So let me know what you guys do. Do you do that? Do you wait for basics? Do you go for featured? Let me know because everybody's a little bit different, but I hope this helped you out. If you were deciding, this kind of helps you weigh the options. And so, yeah, that is it. So if you liked the video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends, share it with your mama. All that stuff helps me out. And remember, stay dorky, and I'll catch y'all on the flip.